So now in your development process, we've developed code. Uh, it's been developed against an SDLC that uh, contains all of the necessary security attributes that we would like to see. You're developing the application to meet PCI DSS requirements. It's doing all the logging, uh, all the authentication requirements. Well, we want to make sure that, that we have, a, have somebody within your organization that's going to review that code, right? They're going to review the, the, the actual source code for any vulnerabilities. Now, there are several things that we need to look at here. First of all, is that this application, the person that's reviewing the, uh, the source code uh, for any of these vulnerabilities, they need to be trained in how to do that. Understanding that, that just because you're developing does not necessarily mean that you can develop secure code. Uh, and just because you're developing secure code doesn't necessarily mean that you can do a code review. One of the things as assessors we like to do is, is to look at what those, process, what those processes are. Well, it's not really called out within the PCI DSS. You know, some of the things that I look for as part of your development process is how you comment your code, right? It's important to us to understand that, you know, when somebody else is looking at that code or if you should not be the one developing code or looking at that application or that application developer may not exist uh, within, your, within your organization in two or three years from now, what is it that this part of the application is doing? Right, so that's not, while it's not required, it's something that I recommend you do is, is use good commenting within your application. But understand that the person that's reviewing the code cannot be the same person that developed the code. We need to have a separate person doing that. Now, the code review needs to be done by somebody that's competent to, to perform that activity. Now, after we've reviewed the code, uh, where there is a security impacting vulnerability or an issue that's discovered, it's expected that your organization actually go back and correct that code. And then lastly, as part of this particular requirement, is that management is going to be signing off that all of the necessary corrections have been made. Now, where it calls out the sign off, that management signs off, it's not suggesting that it's management that's actually doing the code review. The expectations from an assessment perspective is that the management is signing off that all of your SDLC, all of your processes, and all of these things that we've been de that we've defined and been talking about um, have been followed, right? And that the process is working as it's been defined. 